Welcome back. So today I have another auction house haul. So this was a very small auction out of Illinois. Um, basically stumbled across it just looking for random things and got a pretty wide variety of stuff to be honest. Uh, there were some things which I you know, had initial bids on, which I just let them ride. There's other things I would watch the auction live and see if I wanted to jump in. Um, that is one of the nice things with some of the live auctions, some of the more traditional, I guess you could say, auction setups, is that you can jump in at the tail end if you so choose. But let's see kind of where we are. I'll try and go over the best I can, what I paid for each item. These all came with uh, authentication, with one exception. Um, not from the big three, so I will have to go through and likely go to JSA with a lot of them. Um, and we'll kind of see how things turn out. I think they're fine um, in doing my comparisons prior to the auction and some of them were pretty low so even if it's a little iffy that I should be okay and if need be we'll kind of swing it right back to the auction house and see what can be done so let's start off with a the most or the least expensive I should say the most inexpensive um, item that I purchased and this is an all in the family photo, obviously. This is signed by Rob Reiner and Sally Strug Struthers. So signed on the right hand side. Next up, we have Paul Newman. So this was $30. Paul Newman was a little bit more. And again, I'm factoring in the hammer, so the um, commission, as well as shipping. So these are final costs to my door prices on all these. Um, Paul Newman is 55. Just a simple photo there. DiMaggio, 61 and change. This one I'm iffy about, but find out. That's the only one I really had question about was the DiMaggio. Alright, next up we have Jack Nicholas. Also 61 and change. Kind of signed in the crowd, so not the greatest spot for a signature. Next up we have Jimmy Carter. 42 and change. Followed by another presidential auto. Gerald Ford. This was also 42 and change. That was an interesting photo with him and Nixon. Next up, we have Sandy Koufax. This one did come with a PSA cert. 61 and change on this. And now we're down to the last two, the best two, kind of the things that I guess flew under the radar. There's some really big items before these next two. Um, and I was watching the auction live at the time. And as soon as the big items, I think it was, might have been, might have been another lot in between. Um, but as soon as the big items sold, the viewership for this auction just plummeted. Um, it was really kind of crazy. So I think part of me got very, very lucky um, that that happened. Um, I, and I don't know, I mean, it might be some technical difficulties because I was having issues at times with the, the website I was using. So 
there might have been a little bit of that at play, but we'll just have to kind of wait and see. I guess you could I guess what it's going to come down to. So this is a later printing of a photo from the great dictator signed by Charlie Chaplin. So those of you that have not seen The Great Dictator is an amazing piece of just satire poking fun at Adolf Hitler, Nazi Germany, uh, starring a Jew. Um, it's just, it's, it's a brilliant piece of work even for um, the time it was made and definitely worth giving it a watch. Um, and keeping in mind the time it was made. So, kind of a really cool piece to have a still from that movie signed by Chaplin. And then the last piece, something I'd always wanted, and I didn't know if I was gonna, ever going to be able to get. Mo, Larry, and Curly. Three Stooges, signed, cut. Oh, I apologize. Chaplin was 92 and change. This is the big purchase um, cut of the Three Stooges, three most well-known Stooges. Um, and this one was just under $300. Which is a lot of money, but a steal in compared to what some of them go for. Um, these two, if I remember correctly, the Chaplin and the Three Stooges were back to back. So this also had the same, uh, was in the same situation where um, viewership of that auction had plummeted and I don't know if just those buyers had left or um, they were overlooked. I don't know. Um, the listing for all these items was okay. Um, wasn't great but it was really just an interesting to see all these different types of pieces um, and I was very happy with the results and the prices that I ended up paying so it wasn't a cheap auction by any means a total um, but I think there's a few pieces that once I'm done with them once I get them back from uh, likely from JSA I should be able to flip them over and pay for everything else hopefully um, and still be able to keep you know a couple of the key pieces so but that is the results from the most recent auction wins and again this one's gonna take a little bit more work just because I'm gonna have to go through JSA just for my own peace of mind but also if I ever decide to um, sell any of these items which I already plan on some of them to make sure that everything's on the up and up everybody's comfortable so just happy to have kind of those really unique Hollywood I guess you could say items to add to the collection and hopefully we'll have uh, continued luck with various auctions there's a few items I'm watching right now um, that I have bids in on uh, one big lot and a few individual items hopefully again we're able to get those um, because there's huge potential with them so both in, in, in adding to my PC and also uh, both adding and kind of selling off the excess so that's what I got for you this time around until next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. Have fun by being active in this community. So find your <laughs> so, so find your way of contributing, whether it's making videos, watching, commenting going to live streams, group chats, going to LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, 
the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.